Antonio Hondo here from Love This City TV. We're at the Tattoo Show Toronto. I'm with Henya, which just won Best Small Color Tattoo. Booyah! So tell me about your career in industry. It's a men-dominated world, and you're at the top as a woman. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So tell me a little bit how you got into the career. How was it? I was... Uh yeah, I'm a, I'm a woman in the industry, but I was encouraged by a man, to be honest. It was my by my ex-boyfriend. He really pushed me, and and um, just it, it helps to have someone believe in you sometimes, which is great. Um, yeah, so that's kind of uh, very very basic how it started. And what do you specialize in? Is it hand drawing, custom, portrait? What, what's your flavor style? I definitely like to do faces. Um, I do like to do portraits, um, but they're not. It's not always necessarily of a particular person in particular. Um, I like to use uh, uh, someone's face as a base and then put my own spin on it. As you can see in in my artwork, what that means and what it looks like. So. Yeah, that's kind of my style. I do like to do faces a lot, but um, yeah, definitely trying to make it unique, trying to make it my own. So tell me throughout your career, we, we love asking the fun questions, what's the craziest tattoo story you got? When you're living it, I'm, I think almost every day is something different from, you know, and, and it can change from like the most regular mundane day to someone straight up showing up and getting gun devil tattooed on their forehead um yeah <laughs> yeah uh sorry no, uh, can't that's think a great of anything story. else and what's the know, craziest but... thing a client's ever done on the table or a funny experience that you've gone through oh i've had people pass out and pee themselves um that like um throw up um yeah other and but most 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 clients are great. Um, I love tattooing women. Uh, sometimes just the smallest, thinnest girl will be putting up with a huge back piece or a very painful sternum tattoo, whereas the, the toughest, manliest man will faint. Yeah. So, yeah, you just, you never know, but yeah. Okay, back to the industry. How's the industry been changing with tattoos? How many people are getting into it? Where's the culture and the tattoo industry going in your eyes? I think, I think um, now it's not just um, the, the, the old um, anchor tattoo, which I have, there's nothing wrong with that or whatever, but um, yeah, just getting a lot more creative. I see now actual art, art, art happening, not just tattoo art as you would see back in the day. Um, kind of like me, I, I started off as a painter. I was a painter first. Um, both my parents are painters. So, and, and also just sort of recently as I developed my style, um, I just decided to just relax and start kind of painting on people. You know, so I, I like that. I think that's really cool is just now is actual creative art happening instead of just stenciled on, um, which which that's that's fine too. But like it used to be flash art or just, you know, tattoo art. Now you can just put any kind of art on a body as long as it's done well, of course. And um, you, you keep the longevity of, of the tattoo in mind. Yeah. Any awesome people or name drops of any celebrities or who's who's loved your work the most or any fun projects you've done with them? If I've tattooed a celebrity, sometimes I may not have been aware of it because it's, um, I, I don't care. I mean, I care, but I don't. Um, that's not really the big deal. I kind of treat everyone the same. What are you known for? What's, what's something that everyone will be like, oh my God, this is what she's known for. This is what sparked me to go for. Are you known for any pieces or anything that's been amazing in your career? Um, I think like uh, boldness. Oh, thank you so much. Um, boldness, I think, um, again, like as I'm developing my, my unique style, um, as you can see in some of the prints and, and on the banner, that's my artwork right there. Look at this one. Um, I love skulls. Skulls are like, it's this. It's a classic, right? It doesn't go away. It's always like skulls are always awesome. Um, yeah, I think uh, what's recognizable, um, again, the, the, the faces, um, it could be just like a skull. Skull is a skull, but it's how it's made. And I think, you know, boldness, mixing a, a, a style mix. I like to mix uh, realism with, I guess, a very smooth boldness that makes it look surreal. Um, 
Yeah, I think that you can tell whether I do a skull or a face or an anatomical heart. I think you can tell that it's me. Um, yeah. All right. And what, any of any favorites from around the world? What are some tattoo guys that inspire you or women? Um, I really love Timur Lyshenko. I think he works in Poland right now. I believe he's a Ukrainian uh, working in Poland. I'm so inspired by that guy. Um, Ad Poncho, um, J Freestyle. Um, yeah, I really love to pull inspiration from those guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> and anyone that wants to get into the tattoo industry and tattoo, any inspirational words or little tips and tricks that they should do? Anyone that wants to get into, um, I guess look for an apprenticeship. At the same time, um, be confident. Um, there's this thing that, you know, you're told a lot to stay humble and, and stuff, which, which is great, but I think a nice dose of healthy confidence is, is really good. Um, and preparing yourself, like people think that it's, it's glamorous and, um, and it can be, that's fine, but do you, do you really like art? Do you do that in your spare time? You know, um, the money will come no matter what you do as long as you actually enjoy doing that and let whatever you do in your spare time become your career, you know. What's the longest tattoo you've ever done or the longest day you've ever had? Do you ever have a 48 hour tattoo spree? No. No, I don't do that to myself anymore. Um, I think that used to happen a lot more. <laughs> I think that used to happen a lot more when I was um, when I was learning, and things used to take oh, me a Red long Bull. time. Pardon? Lots of Red Bull, never. Kind of yeah, no, never. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe some smoke. Uh, yeah, no. Um, yeah, uh, I think I think it was more in the beginning when I used to be a, a lot more nervous and again it's that kind of lack of confidence where sometimes you just have to be like fuck it and just relax and and just I know it's a tattoo and I know it's permanent I don't mean to make it sound like fuck it whatever but you really do need to just be like yeah you embrace it. yeah, embrace yeah. It. It's so true. Like everything in life is about just go for it and just yeah. breathe and relax. It sounds yeah, so like simple I'm that it's here. complicated. Yeah, I'm here, so I'm yeah, I'm at this point, so I must be this good already. So just chill and just be you and just let it happen. And yeah, then awesomeness comes. <laughs> so what has been the longest tattoo you've done for some oh. 10 hours? What, like, is that even like I never, healthy? I never, no, it's not healthy. <laughs> What's the average, six hours they say? Um, I mean, no, you can go for, uh, it just depends, some days, some days you feel like you can go for longer and that's both for artist and client, right? And some day, I mean, some days I'm just over it within three hours and sometimes I'm over it before I even begin. Um, but we, some, we <laughs> yeah, but some yeah, days, yeah, like uh, yesterday we went for a long time, uh, I did a full color piece, even though um, it, it's a small color, I guess that's the category that, that it won. Um, it was still a, a pretty, you have that one? pretty full, it it's, no, my client okay. is going for okay. best medium color, so okay, maybe, wicked. maybe I'll get back that one back. too. <laughs> yeah, um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so going for a long time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I honestly can't answer exactly. I, I still don't know how long a tattoo is gonna take. It's so hard to quote a tattoo yeah, even to this day. Even after like seven years of tattooing, I'm. I look at something and I'm like, between two and six hours. I don't know. Plus, if you want to get creative, then or let me do my thing, then don't worry about the time. Just yeah, yeah that's awesome. let me do something cool. And where can they find you on social media if they want to book and where you're located? Tell um, everyone out there. Instagram, uh, Queen Bee Tattoo. Yep. That's it. Tattoo Show Toronto. We'll be right back. Love the city.